What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Polo G caught cheating on girlfriend. Uh, Ty Taylor speaks out. I don't know. By this girl recently, supposedly before he met his current girlfriend, he was messing around with this girl. Well, she's claiming that recently Polo G has been calling and texting her. Someone said, you had him first. Oh, okay, but she's with him right now. Respect their relationship. The girl responded, respect their relationship. Why is it my fault? Why is it not his fault? Are you crazy? I've been living my life and he calls and texts me. If he's cheating on her, then why are we not blaming the dude? Why are we blaming me? Y'all clearly see he's blowing up my fault. You cheat no, huh? I ain't even gonna do that. <laughs> I was about to say. You cheat no, huh? With her? I, I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Okay? Um, I'm gonna just phone and texting me first not me chasing him if anything i block him so i do respect their relationship i tell him to go home and he doesn't want to now polo g did dm her he said your dude broke talking about you blocking me you're a real life weirdo fuck out of here can't even come around you just a real weirdo all right the girl responded publicly you and a whole relationship worried about the next dude i'm on anyway buster you know where the crib is you could drop my ish off now it seems like at first the girl was okay with talking to polo g while he was still with his current girlfriend but then when she realized that he wasn't leaving his current girlfriend for her her she ended up getting a dude to make him jealous which he <laughs> did get jealous they ended up getting into it and now she's Shut trying up, to expose him publicly that's what i'm getting from it but y'all comment down below let me know your thoughts when it comes to that ty taylor did speak out on daisha accidentally leaking her pregnancy and do i think that she leaked my pregnancy on purpose i don't feel like she did it on purpose but i do feel like she just wasn't considerate when it came like she did it on purpose considerate. but i do just feel like she was not considerate at all like when she was filming like how i go back and look at my footage before i post it she doesn't do that so she would film and just would not be paying attention to what she's posting you know i'm pregnant you know it's a possibility that i might be in the background or i just might be somewhere in the vicinity of your camera frame so just double check and i just felt like she wasn't doing that enough because you know when you pregnant you get pregnancy brain it's all type of stuff that be going on in your mind and i just felt like she just wasn't just being considerate of that pregnancy brain is a thing i never knew that i was the one that was always catching it where the fans was the ones that was always catching it and then it's like she would try to go back and delete it and and try to doctor the situation but it was like it was too late it was already out there it was already floating oh you know, i didn't I just, know that was, I was thing. annoyed by it because it's like damn how many times are you just not going to pay attention get back to you guys when i finish it so AP got kicked out of their penthouse after only being there for four days. Originally, the people that owned the penthouse didn't even want them. Yeah, I, I had no idea. In the penthouse, but then they agreed at the last minute that they would have them come and live there. Now, AP paid a security deposit and first month rent, which is non-refundable, but supposedly AJ felt some type of way about the guy constantly popping up. He would pop up and just walk in while they're sleeping throughout the day, and he would just tell them, oh, this is dirty, this needs to be clean, and what type of- If I was AMP, I would take that nigga to court because why are you popping up at the spot and i don't know if that's in the uh rules and regulations of the um airbnb hell i'm gonna start looking at it because that's crazy that's crazy I'm, I would absolutely sue that man. But landlord just pop up in your crib and just walk in your crib. Yes, this is your crib originally, but once I signed the lease, this is my crib now. And yesterday morning, he couldn't get in because I think- now why i would have probably pulled up would just pop up in your crib and why are you bouncing the ball on my glass just walk in your crib yes this is what would make you bounce that ball on my glass <laughs> out of all things to do you bounce out of all places to bounce the ball. You bounce it off my it's glass. Your crib originally, but once I found the lease, this is my crib now. <laughs> and yesterday morning, he couldn't get in because I think somebody put an extra locket on the door so he wouldn't come in the house because he was just popping up at the house. And I guess he must have felt some type of way. He made a big deal out of it. I don't know if an argument was exchanged between agent and the landlord, but the landlord said that he wanted them out that night. So they ended up moving out of the penthouse last night. The owner of the crib pulled up, woke me up out my sleep without no some diamond said it's cool to see how the individual videos you post are created from one live stream it's inspiring multitasking and working smarter not harder i'm not gonna lie my stream taught me this 
uh, I'm going to say one, two, three, probably four years ago, I was actually doing it the harder way. And um, my stream taught me this. They told me to get a stream deck. I still got the stream deck. Um, telling me how I could upload, you know. I'm trying, I want to get the Kai level on, on that, but I appreciate it, friend. Notice, which you're not allowed to do, gang. I got a couple rentals. I know you can't just pull up without providing the people at the property sufficient notice, which is established in the lease. It could be seven days, it could be three days, it could be 24 hour notice. He didn't do none of that. He pulled up. Honestly, he's been pulling up every day. Today, he was especially upset because he wasn't allowed in and everything kind of just blew up. You can't just keep popping up, bro. So because we didn't allow him in, the whole thing, ah, uh, ah. Uh, so we're trying to get our money back for the whole penthouse. We don't know if that's possible, but we deadass had to move out by tonight, gang. We got a few days of time before we got to get ready for the next spot. The problem is, is getting one, bro. You know you can't just spawn into a new crib. It's hard, especially one that has like six plus bedrooms for all of us to be able to stream in and stuff like that. It's a, it's a, it's a bad situation. I'm not gonna lie to you. We get packed the f up, G. They getting us out of it. I just don't understand why they getting us out of it. Cause it's just, I just feel like we ain't this shit. <laughs> like, what the f have y'all seen in the penthouse stream so far that you like? Damn, that was crazy. And them niggas can't do that. Dave is bouncing that ball on my glass. Why are you bouncing your basketball on my glass? That would have pissed me off. Like the <laughs> trap house? I could understand hey, the trap house. Hey. I ain't gonna lie, chat. The trap house, I could 100% understand. I'm like, what do you mean? We, like, why, why you keep saying that? He like, nah, bro, we fucked up. We just get kicked out. Huh? That, yeah, bro, we up. Uh, like, agent, that's the agent, Duke, Davis, Phantom. We all thought we just get kicked out. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's our last day, bro. We fuck. I don't know where to stay now. I go downstairs. I see the whole AMP in a circle, my Duke Davis, um, Agent Chris Phantom. I come downstairs, bro. We kicked out. We have to pack all our stuff. So Mr. Beast is being called out after his best friend Chris, who does YouTube videos with him, got exposed with talking to an underage kid named Lava. Now Chris was 20 at the time. What? We have to pack all our stuff. So Mr. Beast is being called out after his best friend Chris, who does YouTube videos with him, got exposed with talking to an underage kid named Lava. Now Chris was 20 at the time and Lava was around 13, 14 years old and Lava was a big fan of Mr. Beast and Chris and Chris knew this and he made Lava a mod on his Twitch. Now Lava, who's 13 at the time and Chris, who's 20 at the time, was making inappropriate comments back and forth publicly to the point where this YouTuber ended up seeing it and he screenshot it and he actually did a whole video. Now at the time the video was made, didn't blow up and nobody really seen it but recently it hit twitter and tiktok and it has been going viral and a lot of people have been questioning chris and lava's relationship lava did speak out he took to twitter he said chris did nothing wrong what's actually disgusting is you guys twisting things and making me a victim chris messages to me were sent in public discord services and groups but everyone is framing it as if it was a one-on-one -on -one. chris literally did nothing wrong now keem started tweet because he got connected with lava through mr beats lava said i'm not groomed by chris lava also said i did not meet chris by myself i met chris in the Mr. Beast crew with my family present. Lava also goes on to say, I ran a discord with Chris when I was 13 and edgy inappropriate jokes were said. That's it. And Chris. Yo, you can't be edgy with 13 year olds, especially 13 year olds. You don't know. I mean, or at all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's just no need. Edgy. That's such a bad word to use. <laughs> Edging, edgy, ugh. Who's also being accused, he goes by Ava now. He tweet, he said, to lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable and I cannot change who I was, but I could continue to work on myself. I don't want these accusations to impact hundreds of people who worked at Mr. Beast, which is why I have stepped away. Now, an employee who recently stopped working at Mr. Beast studio did speak out and allegedly he claims this is only the tip of the iceberg. My name is Dawson, I worked at Mr. Beast from February to May of this year, 2024. Wait, 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 where's the pay? I worked at Mr. Beast from February. His payday. To May of the $2,225. Just paid for work in June 15th through the 10th. You got uh $2,000 for 
for 10 days. This year, 2024, Chris is the, the tip of the iceberg. And when Jake the Viking says, Mr. Beast knew, yeah, Mr. Beast knew. Um, I heard many times that Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action and she knows too much. And when all this information comes out about everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money back. Damn. Well, yeah, I'm 22. I would never make a joke. Yeah, nah. All right, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.